Welcome back, everyone. I am Zadie, and this is Kerbal Space Program, and let's just get into it. We haven't done this in a long time, and we're going to go ahead and start up the Kerbal, uh, the Redneck Space Program again and uh, get things going. Hopefully, this time, uh, we'll be able to progress a little bit further than we did last time. Again, we're going to be doing career, and again, the uh, you know flag is the Georgia flag because I am a Georgia, Georgia man, and uh, yeah. We're going to turn off uh, spawning. Uh, there are no... Uh, the crew members who die, they cannot respawn. We've also turned off uh, reverting back time. So, what happens, happens. I know this is crazy, but that's the way it's going to be in this one. So, here we are at our Kerbal Space Center. And, uh, we don't need your tips for your... We're experienced, and we know what we're doing. This first couple of parts are going to be very easy. It's going to be launcher first, uh, spacecraft, and then um, uh, escape the atmosphere of Kerbin. All right? Not that, you know, big. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead a little bit to our first launch. We're just going to get some science off the launch pad. Again, we've been here, done that. Uh, there's not a lot to write home about. We're just going to get a, uh, a little science here at the very beginning. And uh, as the series progresses on, there'll be more uh, live commentary and also more uh, building and stuff like that. But for right now, we're just going to try and knock out as much of this little science as we can as possible. Uh, this does not count as launching your first vehicle, by the way. Your first vehicle actually has to launch. I know. It's crazy. Uh, fooled me, too. So... You know, eh, it happens. But anyway, we're going to get a little science out of this little, uh, this first little bit, and then we'll continue on with, uh, with the, uh, the space program. Also, I'd like to note right now that, uh, if, uh, the, all the mods that we're using in this mod, in this, uh, in this series, they will be located in the tags below. I do have uh, a couple of things in there that's going to change the tech tree. Uh, meaning uh, unmanned before man is probably the biggest one, the biggest change. So you are going to see a little bit of difference in the uh, in the tech tree than you would normally, uh, which is why there was a probe out there instead of Jebediah in a capsule. So we are doing unmanned before manned. And uh, just from that little bit, you can see we got a little bit of fun. So we only got a thousand uh, for that because, again, we didn't accomplish our mission and uh, we got very little science. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try and rectify that right now. Put a little flea engine on it. Now we've got it. Now we've got it. Now we've launched our first rocket. We're also going to get a little bit of science from low curb and uh, atmosphere. Uh, mainly just what we have, which is the, uh, the barometer and the uh, thermometer. Uh, no crew reports at this time. Again, this is an unmanned vehicle. And yeah. So we pretty much made a little ballistic rocket that's going to go up in the air and fall back down and go kaboom. There's no way you can save this thing at the very beginning. There's no parachutes. You have nothing. So, uh, yeah, we just made basically uh, a disposable unit. And uh, the contracts that we got uh, to launch our first vehicle... Uh, is going to pay for it, so, and to get science and everything, so, not too bad uh, of a start, and we're just going to spin this bad boy down there, and let him crash, again, it's disposable, we'll eventually get parachutes, actually, here in just a minute, and it's going to go, kaboom, and there goes our first probe, good job, guys, good job, all right, let's go back to the space center and take a look at what we've done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go and uh, use some of our well-earned science. This first couple of parts are not that expensive uh, for science-wise. You also see that uh, you got a little offshoot there of the, uh, the this first wrench. I can't remember what its name is. Uh, it's only it's only one science, but we don't have that at the moment, which is pretty sad. We're going to go in here and get some more missions. What we're looking for are uh, easy ones to start out to give us a little cash flow, which are test anything on the launch pad. Again, you want to find these. It's quick, easy money to start out with, and it can sometimes net you a little bit of science. Uh, we do have one right here where it's going to it's, uh, test the, uh, the rover wheels on the launch pad. Very easy. We're going to be able to knock that out real quick and get about 4,500 
uh, Kerbal Dollars, and One Science. Again, it, starting out is a little bit more of uh, a kind of a give and take. You, you, you want to try and get as much money and science at the very beginning as possible. Uh, we also picked up Escape the Atmosphere, which we're going to be doing here in a little bit as well. Let's go into our, our uh, vehicle assembly bay, or space uh, assembly bay, and uh, go ahead and throw those rover wheels on there. Uh, this is going to accomplish that uh, one mission. We're, we're not going to be able to uh, escape the atmosphere quite yet. We will do that by the end of this episode. Uh, but first things first, we're going to test some stuff on the launch pad. Again, getting a little bit of extra cash and a little bit of extra science. Not a big deal. Just throw those bad boys on there. And when we get to the launch pad, we're just going to test them real quick and be done with it. And it's just easy money, just like that. So just scroll in there. For those of you who don't know, just scroll in. You'll uh, On the part you're supposed to test on the launch pad, it'll have a button that says test. Just uh, right-click on the part, and click test, and bam, done. Look at that. Easy money. That's four and a half grand. Granted, in the in the scheme of things, uh, maybe not so important right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's not a lot of money, but still, at the same time, you get, uh, get a little reputation out of it, get a little money out of it, get a little science out of it, okay? Can't beat that. So uh, we, we've, we've got some more science now. We're going to go back in here and uh, we're going to test the, um, uh, the, the shield. We're going to actually cycle through a couple of these real quick and see if we can't get something a little better. But uh, we have, uh, again, looking for test anything on the launch pad. So let's see. What do we got here? There we go. That'll work. And I don't see anything else. Plus, we've already got two missions out of two. So there's not a whole lot we can do right now. I'm just kind of checking for the future. And uh, we'll uh, go to our vehicle assembly bay again. Take those rover wheels off. And we're just going to throw that heat shield on there. And uh, basically get, again, more easy money, more easy science. And easy reputation. So all you gotta do is just throw that on there, launch it. It's gonna be the same thing as before. As soon as you get out there, uh, all you have to do is right click on the part, test the equipment, and, and it's done. That's it. See, real easy. Right click, run test. Bam, done. Money. Go ahead and return to the, uh, the Space Center. Got our little money there, and Let's see, uh, we'll go back to a mission right now, and we're going to go ahead and pick up Orbit Carbon. That is a high priority for us, and we might be able to do it if we get this uh, extra research done. I know we need some advanced rocket parts, but it's still going to be iffy whether or not we can, uh, we can do this. Let's see, we've got some airplane parts here with some stability. We're going to go ahead and take that because we need it for the rockets. And we got two science left, which is nothing left of, uh, nothing, <laughs> not enough to buy anything. Again, we don't have any survivability right now. So anything we send up is going to, it's going to crash. So it's definitely going to be unmanned, but, uh, we definitely wanted to get those, uh, solar panels because we're running off of robotic stuff. It's going to be very important. All right. So let's get to building on this thing. Uh, we do got Kerbal Engineer installed. So, uh, we're definitely going to want to put one of those panels on there. The, the readout you get from this thing is so nice. It tells you your Apple Labs, your, your Delta V, it, it, all sorts of stuff. It, all, all sorts of important information this thing can give you. I can't recommend, recommend this mod enough. So uh, we're, we're going to try to get into uh, an orbit. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We don't really have uh, a really good upper stage... Um, uh, upper stage rocket. This is the best one we've got now, the engine. Uh, so it may be able to deal with that little bit of fuel. Highly doubt it. I probably would have to launch this thing uh, pretty accurately in order to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a stage on there real quick. Kaboom. And uh, let's uh, work on the meat and potatoes here. Uh, one of the things I do like about the uh, this mod uh, uh, tech tree that I've installed is you get those big tanks really early on. And uh, it's very, very helpful. Also, uh, 
you, you go unlock some different parts in some different ways. I, I it just makes it just makes it's a quality of life thing. I, you know why why put why why should you have to put ten barrels to equal what you could do for two? You know it just kind of hinders you in a, in a in a very annoying way. Uh, put some stability fins on here. I am going to make a critical error on this, and that's I'm going to do three. Never do three. Always do four. I. You, you'll see in a second as to why you don't want to do three but it has to do with the stability of the rocket when you turn it it's going to kind of want to spin it because everything both the all three wings are basically turning in the same direction so it's going to want to spin it it's not going to hold it in a very stable the, the fins alone will stabilize all right let me rephrase this if you have uh three non-moving fins you're fine okay if you have three fins that move you are not fine so because of the way they they move and stuff it's gonna uh hurt things well this is uh we, we named our rocket jumper mark one not again nothing too fancy um it's just it's just an early stage rocket and uh you know but i i I'll probably start making a bigger deal the bigger rockets we get. But for right now, it's really not that important that we, we name them anything. I, I, I Again, I would like to... Uh, I've thrown this out there several times. Uh, my viewers who are watching this, if you guys want a rocket named after you, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, leaving comments and stuff like that uh, helps support the uh, channel. It also helps support me and keep my morale up for the channel and um other other reasons but yeah if you want a rocket name after you drop me a message in the in the in the uh comment section down below i will name a rocket after you so this is going to be your standard go into space orbit as you see when i'm turning the the things kind of wonky and all over the place that's that's my bad that's because i didn't i put three fins on it that move i it wasn't smart uh i'll definitely fix that in the future uh, but just your standard burn going up, up, up and away. And you, yeah, you see how it turns? It just kind of, kind of wants to lean over on itself almost. It's weird. Uh, we're going to try and take a couple of readings as we're going up because we do have a rocket that has, um, uh, uh, alternator on it. So we can, we can beam this stuff down to the surface and not worry about, uh, losing, uh, too much energy. We do have a battery on here as well. So, we should be okay. Uh, those little antennas, this high up, it's, it's not going to break. You're fine. Uh, we, we just beam that stuff back down to the surface. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start rounding ourselves off. Probably boosting up here a little bit. Uh, just to get a little bit of extra oomph. As you can see, um, in the top, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's middle left. That little readout right there. That is from Kerbal Engineer. So, uh, so that's what that's what you, you're looking at right there. That little green chip on the side of my thing. That's a Kerbal Engineer that's giving me all that readout stuff. And it's like I said, it makes it's a quality of life thing. It helps you out. We're 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 not gonna make orbit. I don't think we're gonna make orbit. I don't think this this thing has enough fuel or enough oomph to 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 get us into orbit. And just have to apologize for a second here. Uh, I, Kerbal Engineer is popping up uh, over one of my HUDs. I need to uh, I need to move that. Uh, let's see where we want to put it. Yeah, we'll just put it. Yeah, we'll just put it there. Put it down below. Yeah, that's 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 better. That's better. It's uh, you know, it was in the way. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Since I don't have any of the upgrades at the uh, the Kerbal Space Center to uh, for the map and the uh, maneuver nodes and stuff, we're just gonna wing this. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm watching um, the Appalachian height and how far away I am from it. And I'm just kind of gonna base the burn off of that. Uh, while we're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some uh, quick science. We still have plenty of battery left in this bad boy to where we can beam this back down to Kerbin. Uh, let's go ahead and start our burn. Get it going a little bit. Applap's going up a little bit too high. Uh, we're just gonna tone that down a little bit. Kind of level this thing off, and should be giving it a go here in just a second. Yeah, just get a little bit closer to Applap's before we burn again. 
I can't click on that antenna. There we go. Transmit data, baby. Give me all that sweet, sweet science. I need it. I want it. I crave it. I need to unlock more. The more science you get, obviously, the more stuff you can unlock, and you want to do as many experiments in space as you possibly can. Uh, that being said, you don't want to keep doing the same ones over and over again because uh, you don't get anything for it. I also got a mod uh, installed called uh, Science X that I'm not currently using. Uh, I'll probably use it. Holy shit, we made it in orbit. Wow. All right, then. So that happened. Um, yeah. So we made it into orbit. This thing was capable enough to get into orbit. And uh, we're in a low enough orbit to where I think getting out of it's not going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and clear our... Uh, our log here. Our log. Like the log in his pants. I almost said her pants. That's wrong. Anyways, uh, we, we got nothing else to do up here. We've uh, gotten all the science we can out of this bad boy. And, uh, yeah. Uh, might as well go ahead and deorbit. That's, that's enough to do it. That's going to put us back in the atmosphere. So this thing is going to come down. Uh, we should probably check and see if there's any missions that we can get real quick see if we can't find something else we can add on there I apologize for that stupid uh, FPS counter up there that, that thing's annoying the hell out of me let's go and use some of our science let's get some survivability we're gonna definitely need that parachutes and we're gonna go ahead and unlock these other engines it does have satellite engines in there which is gonna be really nice I would like to send to a, a probe to the moon as soon as possible would be very 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 nice. Uh, let's see. We don't have any more science points. Just trying to plan out the future a little bit. Uh, see if we got any missions that we can do from science, from space, or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Explore Kerbin. Eh, no. These things can be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, kind of got to do a plane for that. Sorry, reading. Um, oh, this is return from orbit. We might be able to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our, our uh, launch pad while we're here. And uh, that way we can it can have more tonnage on it. Let's see. I would like to do EVAs. Yeah. We'll do that so we can do EVAs. And we'll do that so we can get more missions. And uh, that way, now we got a max of seven. So we'll be, we'll be picking up more missions here later on. Probably should have done that. But, yeah, you know, we had money to burn. Why the hell not? We're, we're, we're eventually going to upgrade everything anyways. That's not very expensive. Could go ahead and do that and do a plane. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do one of these uh, explorers. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Where are you? Let's take a look at some of these. I think we're going to cycle through a couple of them, see if we can't get something better. And looks like we just did space uh, science uh, data from around uh, space around Kerbin. We can do that right now. Uh, and orbit or explore Kerbin. We're going to go ahead and select that one as well. Uh, we'll come back and cycle through some of these in a little bit. I think we can get something better. Um, yeah. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's get let's get this uh, this mission done real quick. Uh, don't need you. Go away. Go ahead and select our vehicle. Let's go ahead and go back to our satellite. And before we re-enter into Kerbin, we can go ahead and we can get science and beam it back down and get that easy mission done. Even though we're not sending anything down that is giving any science, it still counts towards the mission. So that's something to, to know for future reference. If you are doing uh, missions that say, you know, beam science back from around the moon or anywhere. It's, it's like if, if you're not, even if it's blank data, if it's just a temperature reading, you still get credit for the mission, which is, you know, pretty important. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, I know when I'm reading these, it can get quite boring. I think we'll come back to this later. 
Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Guys, as always, I appreciate you sticking by and watching this. This is the first episode of many to come. If you guys could, hit those like buttons, hit those subscribe buttons that are on your screen right now. Check out some of my other videos. You might like them. I've got some other stuff out there. Uh, nothing too serious, but, uh, you know, still trying to develop a fan base and everything. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for more KSP.